Hi everyone, this is Ken LaRue from the Shotgun Team, and this is my tip of the day in my 30 tips in 30 days. Today's tip is going to be focused on setting up the permissions inside of Shotgun. Now typically, your administrator will be the one who's controlling the permissions of everybody that you're working with, no matter what your role or your persona is, whether it's the artist, the manager, the supervisor, or a vendor, and so on. But I think anybody using Shotgun will benefit from watching this tip because everybody accesses all the entities and the different fields and the apps that are available inside of Shotgun. And after watching this video, you'll understand exactly why you are seeing or you have the ability to edit or change or delete one of those entities or a field. So I'm at my Shotgun homepage, as you can see. And really quickly, let's go to a project. I'll use our Buck Bunny and I'm going to go to my Shot page. So typical shot page, I'll go to the list view and we can see we've got all these different columns and different fields available to us to display whatever it is we need to display. Great, I go to the fields menu. You can see there are quite a lot of fields and this is great if you need all of them, but the point of this tip is that a lot of times the artist or maybe the supervisor or even a manager doesn't need every single one of these fields. This is where we're gonna simplify the UI to give that persona, that role, only the fields they need, only the entities they need and only the apps that they need. Now, if I jump over to the task page, the task page also has many different fields and options, but I'm going to focus on the status options. Since I am the administrator, I do have access and I can change the status of any one of these tasks that the artists are working on, such as the art task. And we have Laura working on that. And I can come in and for the status, I have all these different options to change. There's a final, in progress, on hold, ready to start, waiting to start, and so on. And along the very top of our UI, we have our global navigation bar. And here we see our apps list. And I can go and click the menu. It expands and we have several different applications that we can access. And as you can see, they are all available to me in the role as the administrator. Now, the reason why I'm seeing these different elements and able to edit the different fields and entries and so on is because of the permissions that are available to the administrator. The permissions that are available to each role or each persona will be different. To access those as the administrator, what I'm going to do is go over to the upper right corner of the UI where I have my user settings. I click on the little arrow next to my face. And here I'm going to access all these different options as the administrator. And one of them is called permissions. I'll go to the permissions page and you'll see by default, we have four different permission roles. There's the admin, there's the artist, there's the manager, and there's the vendor. Also, I just wanna point out that you can create new permission roles if you wanted to. If I click this button where it says new permission role, I get the dialog box, and then I can base this new permission role off of a template of one of the existing roles that I have, whether it's artist, admin, and so on. And then you can change them, edit, and save them. Let's cancel that out. If we expand any one of these, you'll see that we have six different subcategories, whether it's admin, whether it's the artist, whether it's the manager, or whether it's the vendor. And again, depending upon the role, different options will be available for each persona or each role to see, edit, delete, and change. For example, if I go to my artist here, I can come down and there's a summary page, then there's the entity, the fields, the apps, advanced, and then there's the reset to defaults. This is a great option because if you make changes to any of the persona roles and you want to set everything back to the default, such as the artist, in this case, you would just choose the reset option and everything is set back. Any changes you have made will be reverted to the default settings for Shotgun. It's a great safety net, if you will. Let's expand the entity permissions. And notice right away that you have four different options for the entities, whether the artist is going to see it can they create this entity? Can they delete it? And can they edit it? And for the artist, most of these are set to just being able to see them. You know what? Before we start changing any of these, let's take a look at one of the artist shotgun pages. So an artist named Laura is logged into her shotgun site. And let's take a look at what it looks like with the default permissions before I go and change anything. So now we're looking at Laura's page. And you can go up into her user settings. You can see it's her icon. But also notice how minimal the options are inside of her user settings. This again comes back to the permissions for what the artist can and cannot access as far as the shotgun site itself, the user settings. Now let me slide over along the global navigation bar over to our app setting. And if I expand this list, you can see that this artist can access some of these apps. 
You can see crew planning is available. The project timeline is not, it's grayed out. The artist can also access notes and screen room and RV. And as we just saw a second ago, just because the artist can see an app such as crew planning, doesn't mean they can edit anything inside the crew planning. Now I'll go to a shots page for one of my projects here. And in the list display mode, which I'm in right now, I have access to all these different columns. Again, I can go to the fields drop down and you can see all the possible columns and fields I can display on this page. And there's quite a lot, maybe more than I need. Now we'll jump over to the task page. And here, right along the very top of this shot, you can see that Laura's job is to work on the artwork. And she can come in here for the status and change the status to any one of the possible choices. There's actually six choices, as we saw, and all of them are available to her right now. Okay, so that is what the different pages and applications, what is available to the artist with the default permission settings. Let's go and alter and change some of the permissions for the artist and then we'll go back and revisit Laura, the artist shotgun site. Now remember the settings and permissions I'm changing here. This is for demonstration purposes. This is not a recommendation at what you should be doing as far as being the administrator and what you are allowing your artist to see, edit and access. So first thing, let's go to the apps. For crew planning, notice that the default setting allows the artist to see the app but they cannot edit the bookings. They can't change any of the crew planning. They can just see it. For demonstration purposes, let's turn off the ability to see crew planning. Review notes, I'm gonna disable it. I'll leave screen room and shotgun mobile as it is, okay? Now I'm gonna collapse my apps. I'll go to my field permissions. I'm gonna to go to, let's see, let's go do shots first. Let's come into shots. And I wanna alter and change what they can see as far as fields on the shot page. I'll be drastic for demonstration, as I said, but I'm just gonna come in here and turn off like 90% of these. I'm just gonna jump around, no real plan here. I just wanna make sure there's as few as I possibly can show you. So you'll see what happens when we revisit Laura's site. Okay, let's little status, we wanna access that. Let's go to our tasks and let's come down and let's go to status. And I'm going to say, we're only gonna allow them to edit and choose the options of final, in progress, and ready to start. So I'm going to disable on hold for edit from, edit to, waiting to start, edit from, edit to, empty, edit from, edit to. So I've made some big changes as to what the permissions are for any artist that is part of my shotgun site and projects. You'll notice there's a save changes option and because I've made changes, it's asking me, make sure you save these before you leave. Or you can choose clear your changes, which would undo all the changes I just made. I will choose save changes, updating permissions. Permissions have successfully been updated. Now let's go back and check out what Laura's shotgun page looks like. So now we're looking at the artist page. Once again, you can see by the settings and we'll go over to the apps and you'll see now in the list, the three top ones are grayed out because we've disabled them. We're not accessible. Going to the shots page and we'll go to the list view. You can see there's only one column displayed by default and you can see the possible columns or fields that can be displayed is now very minimal because we have eliminated those options and we've simplified what the artist can show as far as the columns. Let's go over to the task page and here you'll see that the artist, as far as the possible status has been minimized because again, from the permissions, this artist cannot choose on hold and they cannot choose waiting to start. They only have the three options that I want them to have. Hopefully you've now learned how you can simplify the different elements of the UI, whether it's the entities or the fields or the apps and so on that an admin can see, an artist can see, a manager, a vendor, or even a custom new permissions role that you can create. All right, so that's the tip for today. 30 tips in 30 days.